As a glove manufacturer, safety is a priority at Ansel. That's why we test our gloves in R&D laboratories around the globe. When we bring a product to market, whether it's launched uh, out of North America or is in Asia, we, we ensure that that product is tested locally. And those local testing has to conform to global testing standards. And all of our laboratories are designed to do that. And we ensure that we have very little variation between the laboratories so that what is tested in one laboratory can be replicated in a different laboratory in a different part of the world. And then uh, we would confirm that through a notified body like Santex Bell in Europe. Santex Bell is an independent test center. They test Ansel gloves to see if they meet the requirements for the EN374 standard, which have been recently updated. The new EN374-1 is different from the old version in a lot of different ways. For example, the older version had two possibilities of protection. You had low and high chemical protection. In the newest version, that's not possible anymore. So, for example, the scope has also changed from protection against chemicals to protection against dangerous chemicals. And that's why the beaker is not used anymore. We only have the flask symbol, the pictogram, for the protection against chemicals. In the updated standard, you now have the possibility to have three types of gloves. You have the type A glove, which will protect you against at least six chemicals for at least level two. You have a type B glove, where you have also a protection against at least three chemicals for at least a level two. And then you have a type C glove, where you have at least one chemical and you have a protection of at least level one. Very important to know is that the levels of protection, so the breakthrough times, have not changed. The list of chemicals on which the gloves are tested has been expanded with six chemicals because the industry uses a lot of chemicals and some of them were not covered by the old standard. Ansel works hard to even exceed this new standard. Consistency, meeting the standards, meeting the minimum threshold and exceeding it by a good safety margin is a very important point. Another difference is the protection against microorganisms. In the old version, you only had the protection against fungi and bacteria, and now you can also have additional protection against viruses. Testing results is really, really important to the performance of the product, and we continually try to improve our consistency of testing by narrowing variation of results. Completely new for this standard is a degradation test. The glove will be perforated before and after contact with a specific chemical. So this is to simulate the chemical protection when you are actually have mechanical influence on your glove. Another big difference is the sampling. We will test three samples from the palm and if the glove is equal to or larger than 400 millimeters, we will also test samples from the cuff. One thing that we really stand by is the performance of our products and we back up that performance through the testing results and we certify those test results through external notified bodies. Something to keep in mind is that here in the lab we are testing everything in lab situations so everything is under control. In real life it can be very different so you're going to have mixtures of chemicals, the temperatures will be different so it's quite important to take contact with your glove manufacturer to make sure that you are using the right glove in the right situation. A product that may perform well at a certain customer may not perform well at another customer, even though the customer is still requiring a minimum performance standard. So what we try to do is design a product that's going to exceed the existing performance standard so that it will work for a multiple set of customers. That's why testing is so important to Ansel. When using an Ansel glove, you can be certain it has been tested thoroughly to meet all the required standards and that you and your company will be compliant and your work is safe.